Hello everyone. Today we are going to work on this Niagara particle system that uh, resembles like a, a portal effect. So we already worked on this uh, material which gives the illusion of a depth of another world uh, in a previous episode. So now we are going to work on this particle effect from scratch with Niagara system. So, uh, as for anything new, uh, we will learn how to use scratch dynamic inputs in the Niagara system to get this velocity as we need for these particles. And this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons. Thank you very much for your support. Okay, so last time we worked on this particular material which gives us a portal like illusion. So we can look around this object so we get this fake depth kind of effect. So now we are going to work on uh, the portal, the particle around the portal door. Something I'm trying to make something like. The particle that we see in Doctor Strange movies. So, right, let's start with the Niagara particle, Niagara system, uh, create empty system, finish NS portal. Right, so this is what we have. I'll add an emitter. Oh, we don't have anything. Uh, here. Let's enable engine content. Alright. We have empty Niagara emitter with sprite renderer. So, we need to spawn particles. So, under spawn, uh, let's add on red fix issue five thousand okay and emitter state initialize particle uh, lifetime I'll set to 0.4 to 0.6 it doesn't matter actually for now we just need some particle and the scale let's set non-uniform this scale uh, x1 no let's just say set 5 5 right we have this default sprite material and that should be fine for now so to get a ring like effect we need um, to spawn particles in a ring shape so for that we have a uh, under particle spawn we have this uh, torus location see so now it spawns particles in a location like a torus so i want this to face the let's say x direction the forward direction so torus axis i set x to 1 right now we have a ring and let's set the handle radius to 5 so now we have a much thin ring all right so the next step is this should be like a rotating ring that uh, yeah here is a reference we need to see the particles uh, moving out of the ring so they are like they have a velocity so to get that effect let's add uh, 
velocity at some velocity at the spawn in time at velocity fix the issues so here if I want I can directly set some velocity it's not showing up anywhere Uh, in order to make it work we have to add solving forces and velocity yeah otherwise it doesn't work okay uh, see now if I set this to 100 the particles are moving upward but to make it look like a ring that is rotating uh, here the particles should move this way here maybe move this way go up so depending on the direction particle is uh, the ring is rotating if it is rotating clockwise here particles should shot this way here should upward here shot to the right here shot to the downward so how do we define such uh, velocity so we should be able to derive the particles speed uh, the velocity vector based on the local location of each particle that means here the particle should have a velocity upward a particle that is spawned here should have a velocity to the left Alright, depending on the direction you want. So for that, uh, let's convert this to uh, a scratch dynamic input. So this is what we get. And this one will return the value we have. So for example, if I said, is it 100 here and apply you will see this is moving upward but that's not the way we want so the way we want is we need to access we need to access the particles each particles location and then define the velocity based on the location so here uh, if I add a new common particle attribute or oh, let's type position particle position so this should be oh wait let me directly uh, let me break this vector and let's break this one too vector because I need uh, I want to see individual uh, components of the vector and how they are changing so if I connect Z to Z and apply now we will see here in the local space here Z location is minus here plus so when we have plus we have a positive velocity that moves upward in the z direction here we have a negative velocity so it's moving downward uh, but let me drag and drop this into the world here it's both moving upward the reason is uh, if I move this downward now it's both downward the reason is here we don't get the local location we get the absolute location that's the problem um, but uh, I'm not sure if it is possible to change the location here so anyway if we have the local location then in the location in the local space then it would be much simpler for us so let's add another option uh, owner owner position engine owner position so this will give us 
the position or the location of the owner that means this here in this case this Niagara actors location if I subtract the particle location if I subtract the owner position from the particle position we will get the local offset let me apply now see no matter where I move this the behavior is same right but still this does not look like a ring because as I said here in this in the top and the bottom there should not be any z velocity at all so it should be have only have a horizontal velocity so is but in the local space here is it would be minus one here is it would be plus one and also here y would be zero at this point y would be plus one at this point y would be minus one so if we connect the y input to the z we should have the desired effect we need see now here particles are moving downward as the y is positive in this side particles are moving upward as y is negative so now if i connect z to the y and apply we have such a relation see but i think this should be inverted so here if i make this minus one so here what it is doing is uh, whatever this value we get from a scratch dynamic input multiply with each individual component of this scale vector if I make this minus one now we have the perfect ring like velocity see uh, so if I want it to move a bit faster I can make increase the scale so if we want to have the similar effect in the z velocity also we have to have the same scale great right now we have the required shape so let's make these particles look more like uh, that is sparks that we have in this reference so they are not like points they are like strikes so here Let's set the sprite size x to 1 and y to 10. Right now we have some elongated shape, but it is not aligned to the direction they are moving. So here under sprite renderer, let's set alignment to velocity aligned. So now we get that exact shape. Alright, so the next step is uh i don't think we need to have let's see these particles go into such a length so maybe we can reduce the lifetime like 0.2 to 0.3 okay and also initially we should have much thicker particles compared to the edges at the edges they should be smaller so to make that happen here scale the sprite size and here if I turn this into a curve we get this we can scale the particles based on the normalized edge of the particle so here initially let's make it larger let's set the value to something like 2 that should be fine right now we have much thick particles in the beginning but at the end when it come closer to the end of their lifetime they become smaller but i think it would be better if we have some uh, smoothness here instead of just a linear relationship let's set something like this right 
for both x and y. Right. Okay. Maybe let's increase this a bit again and see. Great. Uh, now let's increase the spawn rate. That's 5000. But maybe the rate is enough. What else we can do? Ah, color. So. Here, oh, where is our color mode? Let's set direct set uh, color like this, and let's make it more brighter. Oh, maybe too much. 50, that's better. How about 100? Not bad. This is similar to what we see here somewhat but you can fine-tune the values and get the exact look you want how does it look yeah it looks great here and you see we don't have the collisions so actually if you want to have the collisions we can add a collision module so see now we have the collisions but if I move this closer you see the collisions much better like this and you can change the collision settings like restitution and advance the aging after the collision like So, so you can like kill the particles faster if they collide something like that a lot of settings are here you can play with them so here is the basic thing the ring and now all I have to do is put this around this object oh wait uh, we have two objects actually here so why don't I move this mm, let me copy the location of this object to the Niagara border right and move it slightly forward so that it doesn't collide with the plane great and do the same duplicate this again for this plane as well right all right so here we have the final version so we have the portals with the particle effect and with the portal uh, like fake illusion within that uh, and I'm gonna stop this episode right here so thanks for watching as always project files will be available here in the patron page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club see you in another episode goodbye